every possession by a demon occurs during three stages. The first is called the presence. This is when a demon or entity begins to make its presence known to the host. The second stage is called the affliction, where the entity begins to possess and inhabit the body of its host, taking overall control of their physical, mental, and spiritual ability. The infected begins to feel dirty, like a pungent force taking over. But the demon cannot fully infect and take over a person until the third stage. It's when a person has finally surrendered and consents to the demon as being a part of their soul, which is known as the ascent. Same damn thing. Still my dime. Here. Forty bucks. Now scoop. For the whole day? You see any goddamn customers here? Thanks, Wanda. So tomorrow? Ten o'clock. I'm gonna sleep in. I should, uh, probably get home. Mason's with the babysitter. And clean up your shit before you go. Hey, pal. Daddy, Daddy, it looks like a fly. Yeah, I can see. Be careful, though. We don't want you flying away. Oh. <laughs> Did you get me anything? From work? Uh, no, but I can make you something if you want. What do you want? <laughs> huh? What do you want? Tell me what you want. <laughs> Cassie, I'm home. Hey, Mr. Clark, how was work? Yeah, well, it was good. <laughs> right, play with your toys while I talk to Cassie, okay? Okay. Hi. Listen, what did I tell you about letting him play outside on his own? Oh, he's fine. He's a big boy now. He's a smart kid, and he's perfectly fine being left alone. I'm his dad. I just... I think I know what's best for him. Okay. Uh, okay, how much do I... Uh, uh 40 for the sitting and 8 for the groceries. Groceries are right. Single portion for Mason, like always, but it was spaghetti and meatballs tonight, so... Okay, well, I've probably got some more money upstairs. Oh, Mr. Clark, don't. It's fine. No, no, don't no, worry no, about no, 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 no. I can't let you Consider do that. my treat. Okay? Thank you, Jess. Of course. Before you go, uh, I need you to um, do the thing. You 
you should say. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Of course, it's work. Don't let the food get cold. Okay? Bye, Mason. I'll see you next time, okay? All right, pal, let's get washed up. Now your girlfriend's gone. Thank you, Lord, for this meal we're about to eat. Bless this food through Christ our Lord. Amen. What was that? It's a prayer. Can she tell me how to pray before I leave? She said God gave us food and we must thank him. I'm the one who puts the food on the table, pal. So... Do you have to pray to you? No, I'm your dad. I take care of you, that's what I do. Daddy, what are you making? I don't know. That's the thing about art, pal. Sometimes it comes to you much later and you just keep tinkering until it does. Can I be artist one day? If you want. You can be whatever you want to be. But you have to eat your dinner first. Aren't you going to eat? Yes, after you. <laughs> you need to eat if you're going to grow up all big and strong. We'll have to eat your dinner if you want to be big and strong. I'm already big and strong. Yes, I am already big and strong. If you want to be strong like me, you have to eat your dinner. So eat your meatballs! Where are those muscles? Where are those muscles? Come on! No, not Mason, the meat is burning down! Ah!
Don't hate your folks. See things, hallucinations? That's what the prison records say, but yet Father Lambert Bowen is released today. Only three years from the death of five-year-old Edward Martin? It's not just a case of failed exorcism, it's negligence. Freedom of religion. What are we, in the dark ages? I stay persecuted him like everybody else. to the last detail. The Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith issued an indefinite suspension of your clerical duties. Typical. With the public uproar, distancing yourself is probably the wisest. What have you heard from the Martin family? Involuntary restraining order against you from the state. I got everything you asked for. But this is dangerous if the diocese finds out, even though it is not your fault. It's not fault, I feel. Have you still been seeing these things? The figures you were telling me about last time? Joel. Sorry. Um, still happens sometimes. It's been better since the medication. Plus, I, uh, I found a... A new way. New way? Yeah, this is uh, it's my boss's old camera. Uh, I've been borrowing it, and when I see something I'm not sure is real, I... The picture helps me tell the difference. That's a creative way to combat schizophrenia. It's important we learn to identify what is real and what isn't. This will look good on your custody report. No. Do you have something for me? We have receipts. Does she work to proof of payment? Very good. This is our proof to the ASFA of your ability to take care of your son, plus your cooperation with the medication. And how's the job hunting coming along? I'm still at Rhonda's. Joel, Rhonda's isn't a job. You're not getting benefits, and you're paid below minimum wage. I'm managing fine. The house is paid for by Mason's mum before she died. I'm... You're living day to day. You need to start planning and thinking more about the future. Longer terms. We talked about this. No, I know. how people take advantage of you. You need to learn to start making better choices for yourself. Uh, please, uh, come in. Uh, meet yourself at home. Did you bring the tapes? Oh. a chance to organize them all. Let's get started. It's going to be a long night. Mason! Time to dinner! Mason!
Mason? on the table. Finish up in the front and uh, don't forget to lock the door on your way out. Thanks, Wanda. For you. Joel. Yeah, it's schizophrenic hereditary. Joel, please make an appointment if you have any questions. I know, I know. It's just um <clears throat> just one question. That's it. It's, in, it's important. Please. It's hard to say, Joel. Schizophrenia does have a genetic compound. Is this about Mason? No. Hmm? That smells amazing. What is it? Uh, roast chicken. I decided today that we're going to actually eat a proper meal. All of us. Cassie, I told you single portions. This one's on me. Just give me the 40 for the day. Mr. Clark, I have something I need to talk to you about. Yeah? I, I got accepted into a university on, on full scholarship. That's great. Which one? Enderton in Philadelphia. I'm going to get my degree for, for teaching. Philadelphia? I can't babysit anymore. Cassie. I'm sorry, Mr. Clark. I'm, you knew that I was waiting on an acceptance and, and that I took this job in the meantime. I can't find another babysitter. I, 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 I don't make enough. I, I figured we keep doing this until I, I find a better job. I, I can't keep doing this forever, too. I mean, you, you know I've always wanted to go to college. If I don't have a babysitter or a real income, the state's going to take Mason away. When do you leave? In a few days. It's new town and all, so even though school doesn't start for a couple months, I need time to settle in and... So your last day? Today. It's the weekend, so you'll be with him anyway, right? This is so sudden. 
I'm so sorry. No, you're not. You don't get to say that. You're just like everybody else. You leave as soon as something better comes along. You act like you care, but you don't care. You don't care. You don't care. Never should have trusted you. Emanum Figuli? Are you familiar with those words? Not in any, uh... <clears throat> Religious text. Do you think it means something? I think it's the lead to our next victim. You know, demons leave traces of their hunger. Do we have any grammar resources? In the next room, top shelf. Daddy, can you come play with me tonight? Can you give me a minute? schizophrenic see the same things like what dog figures black figures 
The shadows are a thing that many people see. Now, if we're talking about hearing the same words or voices, then it's a different story. But highly unlikely. But if you see these figures, it means you're schizophrenic, right? Not necessarily. Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, Charles Bonnet syndrome, or even just a trick of the eye. Am I missing something? Where are the babysitter's receipts for yesterday? She left. I'm the university. I'm still looking for anyone. Joel, Mason needs a babysitter. You cannot leave him by himself. I don't. I'm staying at home with him. No. You need someone who has a proper tutoring certification or get him into a daycare before kindergarten. No, I can't afford that. Look, I will find a new babysitter. Okay? She just she dropped it on me so suddenly. I'm sure it won't take long. I just I just can't do it today. You know, I can't do it now. But Mason's fine. I don't I don't take my eyes off him. Is that why he's waiting outside in the reception area? We're going to the library after this. He's uh <laughs> he's already read all his books. He's a, he's a very smart boy. Joel? You're gonna need to find a babysitter and tutor as fast as possible. I'm trying. All I want is what's best for you. You have one week. I'm gonna go by to your house next week and check up on you over there instead of having our sessions here. Thanks. Hey. Who are you talking to? Someone who thinks they can help us. Dad, could you help me read? I don't feel like it today. You don't have the power, just let me finish this. Why are you painting his eye blue? It's a talisman. Evil eye! Ancient Mesopotamia has thought it protected us from bad luck. Why are you putting it in camper? So that camper can protect you. But you've protected me. Mummy too. Mason, Mummy isn't here. But I see her. <sighs> Mummy's in a much more special place now. She's right here with me. And I'll never leave you. Because in the end, it's us against the world. And... Kamba! Oh, oh, he gets to sleep with me tonight. Yes, he does, like every night. Oi! Then finish your nuggets. Oi! <laughs> I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. And here we go. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Daddy, can you come sleep with me tonight? Mason. Mason! Where'd you get this? With me, Daddy. You know you're not supposed to touch things with Daddy's work. No, I didn't do it. Promise. Hi, Father. Hey, Cassie. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, I stopped by your parish, but Susan says you haven't been around for a few days, and I wanted to talk to you about something. Sure. Come in. Would you uh, like some coffee? Please. Something... Something weird happened last night with Joel, the guy whose son I've been babysitting for almost two years now. The mechanic. I told him I was going to college and that I couldn't look after Mason 
anymore, and I, I knew he wasn't going to be happy about it, but he sort of blew up at me. Mason did, too. It was like they were growling at me. It was dark. It wasn't normal i mean i i don't even i don't even know if i was just hearing things in the heat of the moment i mean people people blow up and and get angry right but this was this was different i felt something like the world went dark i spooked out all day and as i walked out i sensed something you know, in your sermon a couple weeks ago, you were talking about how the devil makes it so... No. Oh, this is Father Lambert. The diocese asked me to look after him. Who is this person that you mentioned? For the time being. Joe. Joe Clark is the father and Mason is his son. He's a Brit that married a local girl, Sarah Holland. She died in a car crash. Joel never really moved on. Since then, he's been socially isolated, not active in the church. Not active anywhere. He's not at the shop and he's at home making his weird sculptures. Look, the whole thing just sort of threw me off, okay? It was. It was scary, and I, I'm scared for Mason, too. Could you maybe go check on them for me? Father Lambert and I will go see him tomorrow. Thanks, Father. Do you think... In Mando Figuli, in the hands of the potter, he's a sculptor, creator with his hands. And he was Abaddon's last words.
Jason. close to such evil. Part of the soul withers from such contact with the opposite of humanness. The essence of evil has attached itself within me. No rest for the wicked. stairs. You're lucky you didn't break your neck. Where's my son? 
He's fine. He's upstairs sleeping. He's still very unresponsive. But this place is like a breeding ground for negative energies. I have to see myself. Hey, we're here to help. Rejoice in the darkness. He shall appear before the Lord's. Mason. Mason. You're okay. Come on. Mason, look at me. Mason. Look at me. Come on, honey. You're okay. What's happening? Say something! We have much to talk about. You've been marked by him, my son. We're not dealing with any ordinary demon here. It goes by many names. Taking on identities from myths, fear, legends throughout mankind. It goes by Abaddon, Ephistopheles, Bet Noir. Throughout the world, he's called Lucifer, Prince of Darkness, Satan himself. You listen to yourself. You're telling me that my family has been marked by Satan. There's only one way to purge this demon, and that's for you to begin your faith in our Lord. Purge? Can you even do you even hear what you? <sighs> I need my meds. There are illnesses known to us, like Parkinson's or dyslexia, that were mistaken for possession before. Science does play an important role, but we have reasons to believe this is something more. Remember this. The devil makes the sane insane, and the insane, sane. He lives so far into the shadows of modern society, hidden by the face of science, that we forget that he even exists. And in that time, he has gotten stronger and stronger every day. We don't see him coming because we don't know who he is. His grip on our souls can be so deep that the only way out it's an exorcism. An exorcism. Exorcism, isn't that... It's highly legal. First Amendment protects exorcisms. The exercise of religion in and of itself is legal. Give me 18 hours. I will banish this demon. I just need Mason to be fine. He won't be taken care of. Our associate, Dr. Hawkins, is on her way now as we speak. Take the help that is given you here or, or forever risk damnation. It's the doctor. Dr. Hawkins, please come in. We're all upstairs. Doc Hawkins, so glad you could join us. I don't think you're supposed to be here. Did you get a permission from the bishop? You're the only ordained doctor in the diocese. Mm. Who was I going to call? No, I've told you already, I'm fine. Go check on my son. Joel, you're the one that needs attention right now. Check on my son. Okay, but we're going to have to come back and look at it. Follow me. Well, the good news is that he's breathing normally. No broken bones, no signs of external trauma. Medically speaking, he's fine, like in a deep sleep. Except that he's unresponsive. Will he wake up? It, it's too early to tell at this point. Six classic signs to possession. There's a version of the cross, rolling of the eyes, what we just witnessed, 
speaking in a language that no one has a knowledge of. And that's what it takes to declare someone possessed, is it? Predicting future events, uh, speaking in voices, and deputy towards the church. Mason has none of these. For goodness sakes, Lambert, we don't know anything yet. Mason. Mason! You guys need to come up. Mason's awake. It's cold. Mason? What is she saying? No, it's the Roman right. How can it speak the For the devil has to know the scripture in order to do it. I trust you because I've seen the work of Abaddon before my son on a boy not much older than your son imagine you're drowning and he couldn't breathe just like you now with a thousand glass shards shooting through his body cutting him the pain is so great that he claws at his teeth and rips off his fingernails We're not fighting physical or, or spiritual deaths here. They will be redeemed in God's eyes. It's the eternal death that we fear. God doesn't abandon, but the devil will take. I just want things to go back to the way they were. Well, I know this is a... A lot for you to swallow at once. I spent my entire life with the entities, and I still have much to learn. But do not worry. This is the end. It's us against this world. I'll trust you. But if anything happens to Mason, God won't save you from me. Do you have a cast? I know where to get one. All right. Well, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a purple stole, mm -hmm. two supplices, some holy water from the church. I need another copy of the Roman ritual. I'll be back with everything. I need someone to go into that room. He has to be restrained. What? Okay, I can help with no, that. No, 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 no. If anybody's restraining my own son, it's me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Come to us, children. Come to us. You now it's just that. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. Mr. Clark? Mr. Clark, can you hear me? It is us who commands you. I have no idea what's going on.
Would you love me, Daddy? to worry about him i'll be here watching what happens inside someone that's possessed well it begins with something simple like a babble in the head disguised as knowledge you you don't really hear the word but rather you feel it you deny the existence of god through incomplete science looking for clues and proof that god doesn't exist does he know he's possessed? No. no. He never knows until it's too late. Demons, they work in the shadows, hiding and becoming familiar in your life. Many times, you cannot differentiate between what's real and what is under the devil's influence. Sometimes you're, you think you're in control, and you finally realize that the devil has such a hold on you that any of the exorcism can save you. You keep saying demons, then you say the devil. They not different things. Well, demons are just a form that the devil takes. He use many names just to confuse us, like Mephistopheles, or Lucifer. Whatever it is, if it's hiding Mason, I want it gone. You would have stayed put through this whole thing. No, he's my son. You've seen what his lies can do. We need you to stay objective through this whole event. I've spent more time convincing the church that people are not possessed than that they are. If anything happens at this exorcism, I will be the first one to stop it. I'm a woman of my word. I'm a woman of science. It's time. This is it. Joel, are you ready for the exorcism? <sighs> yes, Father. The worse it is. There must be something I can do. Just your undying faith. Submission to God. I mean, maybe, maybe if I'm in there, if he gets upset, I can talk him down. Reason with him. This demon is different than any other Joel. You can't just reason with it. It's got no desires, no needs. You can't coax it with love or negotiate. It feeds on the darkness within. You want to help? Keep the doors put her close to you at all times.
Rest. We're going to keep moving. Uh, Doctor, I, I, I have a question. Yes? I heard Father Lambert say that exorcism is legal. Is that true? The First Amendment protects religious liberty, but it doesn't sanction intentional abuse. But that's why I'm here, to make sure that no abuse happens. It's a requirement by the church for exorcism. So you believe in demonic possession? It's my belief that possession stems from a psychological guilt that religion has been known to indoctrinate. I mean, but it could be like ergot poisoning, uh, dermographic urticardia, epilepsy, schizophrenia. Schizophrenia? Yes. It's a psychosomatic condition that's historically been confused with demonic possession. You think you might be schizophrenic? I've seen her medication, Joel. It has all gone on record and into consideration. But that does not explain the voices I heard inside of him. The poltergeist activity. This allotriophagy. The allo what? Allotriophagy. It is a symptom of vomiting things that should not be in our body, eating things that should not be eaten. All I can tell you is that Mason is not in any direct threat or risk right now. Thank you, Doctor.
My, you scared the life out of me. What are you doing here? I told you I'd come by and check up on Mason. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh... What is it? Uh... Now's probably not the best time. Joel, the purpose of my visit is not at your convenience. Now is not a good time. Is probably the very reason why I should be here. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, this is gonna sound insane. Insane? Yeah. Uh, Mason's with a priest right now, so... Priest? Yeah. Um, something's happened in the house, and I think that, um, I mean, we think that something's happened to Mason and... Define something not... happened. He's unconscious, he's unresponsive. Joel! Mason needs to see a doctor now. There's a doctor in the house. A priest or a doctor? Both. There's both of them. They're looking after him during the exorcism. Please tell me you did not just say exorcism. Maya, it's completely safe. What are you, crazy? You're subjecting your son to an exorcism? All the signs are there. They're there. He's, 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 he's speaking in other languages. There's things flying around the house. Oh, so you're Catholic now? I don't... I... I've seen things that I didn't believe in until now. When were you last on your medication? Uh, a few hours ago. Where are your pills? Um, they're upstairs. I left them in the bathroom. Joel, you are destroying everything we worked for. What choice do I have? Mason. Mason is your choice. If something happens to Mason, he needs to get a proper psychiatric evaluation and medical checkup. There are procedures and... Will you just trust me? Sorry. Stop. Right now, I don't have any other choice. You're saying there's a doctor in there?
Lambert! <coughs> Father, my psychiatrist is here. She's not happy. She wants to talk to you. I don't know, my son. Whatever it is that's happened, I can wait. What about him? This work's not cut out for everybody. Well, what does that mean? Well, how's the exorcism going? How's Mason? Now is the time for the ascent. Whatever happens now, whatever choices between good and evil will be forever. How much longer? It's all in God's hands. This is too much. I won't rest until I destroy and abolish this demon. You promise me you won't let him go. This will be fine. He'll have his life back when this is all over. You know, you are the first person I trust that will take care of him. I lost one once. I won't let this happen again. Reflections, motion blur, these are all just natural causes from technology. <laughs> what about this one? What about what about the shadow? Finger on the lens. In the middle? Maya! No, John, you need to stop all this now. You haven't seen what I've seen. Maybe it's because you haven't been taking your medication.
Maya! Mason? Exorcism would save him, but it only brought you closer to me. No. He was helping Mason. Was he? Joe! 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 Or were you so blinded by your perfection you believed your son was afflicted? Mason saw the darkness in you the same way he sees many things. You tricked me! No. You assented. You heard the voices calling out for you during the exorcism, and yet you paid no heed. You're so far into the darkness that your soul has become part of it. Where's my son? Where's my son? Do not concern yourself with the outside world. You built this house and your mind with the darkness and your sickness. That's why I chose you, Joel. My life is nothing without Mason. He's all that matters. In time, he will make his own choice. When his life spirals into oblivion from his parents abandoning him, we shall be there waiting. Don't you worry. It'll be his choice. It'll always be a choice. You are just the first choice. Together, we will build our orphanages of darkness. For the children of filth. Every possession by a demon occurs during three stages. The first is called the presence. This is when a demon or entity begins to make its presence known to the host. The second stage is called the affliction, where the entity begins to possess and inhabit the body of its host, taking over all control of their physical, mental, and spiritual ability. The infected begins to feel dirty, like a pungent force taking over. But the demon cannot fully infect 
and take over a person until the third stage, which is known as the ascent. It's when a person has finally surrendered and consents to the demon as being a part of their soul. Who are you talking to? Someone who thinks they can help us. Remember this. The devil makes the sane insane. And the insane, sane. Joel, are you ready for the exorcist? Mason? It's late. You should be in bed now. Okay. Look, I know how hard it's been after all these years. But you're making great progress. I just... miss him sometimes. Letting go doesn't mean that you have to forget him. It means it's time to move on. I think I'm going to try to sleep now.